Hey everybody, welcome back and we are on to that color activity which is like the second part of our first art class. So just a refresher from the last video, uh, what we talked about last time was the seven essential things within visual art whenever we're drawing, whenever we're kind of looking at things and trying to draw them. Okay, but we got kind of in the activity, I know I did some color on the apple and stuff, but we really kind of need to focus on color as a whole idea, okay? And so this activity is great for that, right? Because we can talk about um, a lot of the things in color that are important, and the activity is really active as well. So, you know, I'm gonna talk about the supplies that you need, they're very basic, um, and you know, as long as you have some acrylic paint and a surface, we can all kind of do this together and make some discoveries maybe and also uh, have some fun, okay? So the first thing that we need to talk about are your supplies, okay? And the supplies that you need are in conjunction with the lesson, right? Because so the most important things we need to talk about whenever we talk about color, the primary colors, okay? And those are red, yellow, and blue, okay? And the primary colors are colors that we can't, take other colors and mix and create blue or yellow or red. They're kind of these standalone and they're at the beginning of the rainbow. And with the mixing of these colors, we create all the other colors of the rainbow, orange, green, uh, purple, all these things, right? But we start with the primary. So you need primary paint, you need red, you need yellow, and you need blue. Um, yeah, because we can make all those colors of the rainbow with just these three colors. Um, and so what you need is you need a surface. It doesn't have to be a canvas. This is just a piece of wood uh, that I put down some gesso, or if you have white paint, you can put white paint down too and let it dry first. Um, but what you'll notice is the way that you start this activity, okay, is you need to use the red on the top and the bottom, right? And make a strip on the top and the bottom of the red, and then in the middle, a strip of yellow and a strip of blue. Okay, and you can, uh, you can let that dry or you can just do this whole activity working in one sitting. Um, it's really up to you. Um, I'll be showing you a time-lapse video here of me kind of doing this on uh, another surface and kind of doing it uh, from beginning to end. Here we go. And I just want, you have to make sure that there's enough paint down um, in the respective colors, the blue, the yellow, the red, because soon we're gonna be mixing those and pulling those paints up into each other. So it's gonna be very, very important that there's a, just a good layer of that paint. What you're gonna do now is you're gonna make sure that you clean your brush real well, but you want some water in it too. Uh, and you're going to start combining these areas, right? So you're gonna start pulling the red paint down and pulling the yellow paint up. And there's this mixing area that we're gonna start creating, okay? Pulled some of that red down, and now I'm going to start coming down here, and I'm getting to the yellow. I'm going to start pulling that yellow up into there. Okay, and you'll see in the time lapse and in the video that I'm kind of cutting in and out of um, that this whole activity is designed to get you accustomed to the mixing of the colors, right? Because what you're doing right now, with if you're starting from the top going down into the yellow, you are making some kind of orange. Okay. And everyone's is gonna be different, okay? Depending on how much paint you use, how much water you use, what kind of strokes you're gonna use, okay? So, we have kind of orange now, okay? And now we're going to pull the yellow and the blue up into each other, okay? So that's the next thing we're gonna do, right? And now we're at the very last bottom one, and that's gonna be creating that purple in between the red and the blue, okay? Um, this is a great activity because as we're moving forward into our still life and we're thinking about light and shadow, the very next thing we're going to go into is color, right? So uh, we're always going to be trying to be as best as we can at mixing colors well and knowing how those colors mix together and what they look like. So this is just a really fun activity for that. Even just in this few kind of minutes with that little bit of setup, okay? We have used the primary colors to create an array, a spectrum of color, right? Okay. That is the color wheel interactive activity. I hope everyone is enjoying the, our class so far. Um, 
class number two that we are moving on to now. We are going into still life drawing. And the first thing we have to talk about is the blind contour line exercise with our objects and what that's gonna look like, okay? So, but please uh, hold true to your seven essentials. Um, and when you think about color, remember the primary colors and the secondary colors. The primaries are red, yellow, and blue. The secondary colors are orange, green, and purple, okay? And if we just stick within that and we talk more about that, we're gonna have a lot of fun with color and painting and all these fun things. Thank you so much. Support my Patreon. And if you wanna send anything to my PayPal, please help support my efforts in my art teaching classes. And I love extending this to people and I hope that I have students that are watching. I hope new people are watching. I hope everyone is interacting and uh, we're gonna have a lot of fun. Please send me your examples. Send me your stuff that you're working on. I would love to see it. Love to give you uh, feedback. If you have any questions, please uh, email me. Okay. Uh, send me a message. Uh, check me out on Instagram. Send me a message there. All the good things. Okay. Thank you so much, everybody. Stay strong and have fun and make art.